Hello everyone, I am going to be showing you guys what I keep in my travel makeup bag. Um, this is just for those like weekend getaways or week-long getaways and I just want to show you guys what I bring along with me. It is highly excessive, I won't lie, and I keep everything in this little train case that I got as a gift with purchase at the Bay from Dior and I just really like it. This carries, contains all of my face and skincare stuff. So this is just like what I would carry in like my suitcase or a travel bag. Um, obviously I still have the makeup bag in my purse which carries most of the lip products that I'm rotating through um, but this just is my travel essentials. Before I begin I just want to take a little tally of how many videos I have filmed in this shirt. I feel like it's a lot, at least in the last few weeks, because I've just been wearing this so many times. Is anyone else like that? Like when you find a piece and you really like it, especially if it's like a basic like this, it's just this is basically just like a long sleeve kind of oversized shirt. Um, I just wear it all the time. I pair it with everything. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to point that out. This is from Target, by the way. Okay, let's get started. So I'm going to show you guys everything that's in here. I really like this train case. It's so heavy right now at the moment, but um, I like it because it's durable. Um, it fits a lot and um, it's pretty compact. I'm just noticing now that I'm a little bit cropped in the screen, so probably half my forehead is cropped out, but I'm trying to film in front of natural light, so yeah, we'll just have to bear with that. So unzipping my little train case. As you can see, it is overflowing with products. Sunscreen is a must. This is actually one that I got from L'Oreal. It was a PR sample. This is the new L'Oreal Paris Sublime Sun Silky Sheer Face Lotion in SPF 50, the ultra light finish. I actually have been really liking this. Um, I go through sunscreen quite often because I wear sunscreen every single day. Even if it's cloudy, even if it's winter, I just always wear sunscreen. It's always like a layer of skincare that I put on and I've been really liking this. It leaves a really nice um, kind of like a matte satiny finish uh, so I do like it. It's not shiny and it doesn't accentuate my oily t-zone. Um, I have a toothbrush um, and it's just in this like really cheap um, toothbrush bristle case. I don't know what you call that. Uh, the Lancome Concentrate or Lancome Genifique Concentrate. I love this as a serum, but um, it's not my favorite serum, but I do really like it. It does make my skin feel really nice, but I feel like I have to use this for two weeks, three weeks before I start really noticing a change in my skin as opposed to other serums that I use where it's like almost an overnight or an instant change. Paula's Choice Skin Perfecting 8% AHA Gel. I've had this for a few weeks now, so I've started using this twice a day. Um, when I first got it, as with usually any kind of um, skincare product like this that has a high concentration of glycolic acid or salicylic acid or AHA, um, I only use it when I first start using it, I only use it at night. Um, and then as soon as my skin kind of gradually gets used to the concentration, I up it to morning and night. So that's what I've been doing with this and I love it. As a cleanser, I just have this little travel size of the uh, Purity from Philosophy. This is just a really great cleanser. I also use it with my Clarisonic, which for some reason is not in my train case, but I usually travel with that too um, just because it's really easy. So I use this because it's a fairly gentle cleanser to use with my Clarisonic. I have the Scandinavia uh, Makeup Finishing Spray. This is just a little mini bottle. I love this travel size. I'm planning on just refilling this for travel purposes. For hair, I have the Joyco K-Pak um, Restorative Styling Oil, so this is just what I use in my hair after um, washing, shampooing, conditioning my hair. I also have started using the Living Proof Amp Instant Texture Volumizer. Um, I do like this. Um, it does work really well. It's actually quite light. I was worried because of the like gel texture that it would feel like you know, typical gel um, hair products. So the instructions actually tell you to make sure that the cream or the gel is um, pretty much transparent before you start putting it in your hair. Otherwise, it won't give you the um, 
results that you want, but I have been liking it. Also have a hairbrush. This is just my Sonia Kashuk one. I actually got the large version. Um, I keep my Mason Pearson brush at home, and if I'm traveling, I use this guy because I'm always worried that I'll like leave my Mason Pearson brush at like a hotel or I'll lose it or something like that. I also have this hair clip and also this hair clip. This is just usually what I use when I'm washing my face at night just to keep my hair out of my face. Then I have this fresh rose floral toner. I have heard good things about this and I was looking for a new toner and I like that this is alcohol free and I picked this up during the Sephora VIB sale. It was like $45. Um, so 15% off was a pretty good deal and I do like it. I love rose scented anything. You can either spray it directly on your face or you can spray it onto a cotton pad and use that. I just prefer to spray it directly on my face and I just kind of gently pat my skin down. I have brushes. Um, this is from Blur Makeup Room. It's a Hakuhodo for Blur Makeup Room. It's just their like J110 brush. I love this for bronzer or for buffing out extra product. This is also from Hakuhodo. This is just like a tapered brush I use for highlighting. This is from Sonia Kashuk, which I am obsessed with because of the shape. It's like the domed blusher brush, I believe. And then this is Smashbox. This is the number two face brush, I believe. And um, I like this for my ambient lighting powders. Speaking of which, I have two. Um, I have Dim Light, which is what I use as an all-over setting powder. And then I have started using Luminous Light as a highlight. So that is what that one looks like. I also have this mini travel size of the Bioderma Sensibio H2O Micellar Solution. This is just great for removing my face makeup before I cleanse with a Clarisonic. I have two eye creams here. I have the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Eye Concentrate, which I'm almost out of, and then I have my Olay Regenerous Dark Circle Correcting Eye Cream. This one I use in the morning, this one I use at night. The Polish Choice Resist BHA 9. This is a miracle worker for any blemishes, any bumps you have under the skin. This is amazing. I highly, highly, highly recommend it. Oh, actually, one thing I don't like about this, it has nothing to do with the product, it's actually the packaging. Whenever I try to pump out a little bit of product, it won't really let me because the uh, pump is a bit too stiff so you have to pump all the way down and it just like squirts out product and it's like it's kind of a waste because sometimes I just want a little bit of product to spot treat um, but it ends up giving me like this whole pump and then I just end up kind of placing it all over my face because I don't want to waste the product but I mean it has been helping keep my face clear so I love it I actually have three eye creams with me. This is the Olay Fresh Effects Bright On Schedule Eye Awakening Cream. I mentioned this in my favorites video for March. I love this, especially in the morning. It's just a really great soothing, cooling um, eye cream to put on because of the applicator. I also keep some Shiseido cotton handy. This is just a little um, Lululemon gift card holder that I got a really really long time ago and I just use it to stick my Shiseido cotton in. Concealer, this is the NARS uh, Radiant Creamy Concealer. I love this stuff. I only really need a little bit because it is, I would say it's fairly like full coverage, just medium to full coverage. Um, so I only like a little bit because I don't want like too much under eye concealer, but I just want to brighten up my under eyes. Lip products that I kind of threw in here. Um, this is a lip combo that I've been loving. I mentioned it in my March favorites. This is Maxi Sheer, which is a pre really pretty coral. And then the um, YSL Gloss Volupte in number 203. Then I have my Bite lipstick in uh, Rosé, which is number, doesn't have a number, but it's the Luminous Cream Lipstick in Rosé, which I love. By the way, I am wearing the Dior Addict Fluid Stick in Vertigo on my lips right now. For the face, I have two things here. This is the Chantecaille Just Skin, which I'm almost out of, and then this is the new, um, not really new, but I just recently bought it, so it's new for me, the Dior Hydra Life BB Cream in number two, Golden Peach. And I tried this, I've been using it for the last couple days, and I really, really love it. Um, pretty much on par with Chantecai at this point, and um, I just, I really like it. The last two things are cheek products. The first one is kind of like a bronzer slash blush 
So this is the Dior Nude Tan in number 002 Sunlight, which I love just all over the face or to contour my cheekbones a little bit. And then for blush, I've been using the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush in Mood Exposure, which I love. It's really, really pretty on. It kind of gives my cheeks a bit of a rosy glow to it too, so I love it. And that concludes what is in my travel makeup bag. Um, like I said, excessive, but what can you do? So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Please let me know what you keep in your travel makeup bag, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!